Well, hi. Um, expectations are high. Welcome them. You know, um, I had an interview today on the phone just a little bit ago, and um, they were talking about, you know, the uh, the assumption that we make the tournament and the assumption, you know, are you going to get to the second weekend? And I said, what an awesome assumption. You know, and, and I'm happy that that's assumed about us now. And we, we, we're we already in the, the second weekend of the NCAA tournament before we've been tipped. But that's fair. Um, I'll take that. We've earned it. Um, we're excited. Obviously, um, it's just a lot better going on the ride with Laura next to you. Um, she is the consummate point guard and totally gets not just her job in the system, but everyone else's job in the system and probably um, knows the stats that the assistant coaches are feeding me during the game as well. So um, I can breathe a little easier and, and, and not coach as hard to the point guard position. I had to coach the point guard position very hard last year. We had no experience whatsoever, and we had people playing out of position trying to play the point. And um, it's nice to be able to say, okay, that's, that's locked in, and have the, you know, the Makias and the, and the Taylors and the Indias and the Kelseys back that have a year under their belt. So um, I can open my eyes a little bit wider and strategize a little bit more besides are we getting the ball over half court and is it going to the right person, which is those were my two concerns pretty much 80% of the ball game last year. Um, so that's fun. And it's just fun to have this, uh, the freshness, to have veterans that are fresh and hungry. Um, usually your veterans are like, okay, whatever. But we have some veterans that were on the bench last year, injured in sweatsuits and, or sitting out their transfer year, but they're veterans. Um, but they're bringing a, a freshman-like excitement and enthusiasm and, and um, type of what if and what's going to happen next kind of mentality that is fun as a coach. So um, I feel good about where we're at right now. And uh, we've got a lot of work to do, though. Um, sometimes complacency has, has crept up, as it did yesterday. So we got up a little earlier this morning to uh, make up for that. But other than that, I've been really pleased. You know, it means a lot to be back out here. You know, just you know, just competing. Um, that's I, I think that's that aspect is, is what I miss most, you know, from sitting out last year, you know, being able to compete and, you know, go to work every day. Um, it's been so much fun to play um, with my teammates and I learned a lot of uh, a lot about them last year. Um, and so far, it's just it's really it's been great. Um, I just love to like wake up and, you know, do what I love most again. And I really am grateful for my health right now. Um, and, you know, uh, Monday's first game back, it was it was a special day for me, a special moment. Um, I wasn't really nervous, uh, but, you know, it was really it was really special. I was really, really excited. Um, I think we, we, we played well. Um, you know, I got to got to score again. I got to pass again, it, it, run through the smoke again. It was this time in a jersey, you know, not in a sweatsuit. So it was, um, no, it was, it was, I felt pretty good. Yeah, Michelle. Back. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I think you just you see the game from a different perspective. Um, you see what, what, what coach sees. Um, and I, you know, got to learn about, you know, my teammates' strengths, their weaknesses, um, especially, you know, how to deal with adversity, how, how to react um, with, like, within a game, calls by, made by referees, um, uh, bad plays or whatsoever. Um, and that's, that's what my job really was last year, is to, to really lead them. Um, from the sideline, and um, I think I, like, I build a really good connection with all of them, and like I'm very well, well respected right now. Uh, I think I've earned that. Um, but you know, viewing the game from the sideline, it just you just it's from a, it's from a different perspective, and I learned so much, you know, about our plays and about my teammates that I feel like it's really beneficial for me this year. I definitely embrace it, um, but of course it adds some pressure. But I don't think that's that's necess that doesn't have to be necessarily a bad thing. Um, I love to play with pressure. I think uh, we deserve to be ranked. Uh, 
expectations should be high. Um, and it's, you know, it's up to us to, you know, live up to them. And I, I really take that challenge and I think we're all up for that challenge. Um, and we can do some really special things this year. Um, well, first of all, we're bringing back a very experienced sophomore class, you know, uh, not anywhere in the country you get to play 30 minutes as a freshman. Yeah. Um, so they b play big time minutes and big time games last year. And, and, and you can see it now. You see it in practice. Uh, I can I can tell from Taylor and my Kia, they just, they just they just gotten so much experience. They really made a big jump jump this summer. Um, and I think, you know, for other teams, the kind of the unknown part, I mean, we're returning uh, Kayla, I'm returning. You know, they never played against Beatrice. Um, so I think that's why people, you know, are maybe a little scared of us. And I think, uh, you know, it's up to us to really scare them for real. Yeah. We haven't seen play yet. Yeah, so it's weird because we, we have only one true freshman, Jameer Houston, who is you're gonna love her. Um, wow. She flies all over the court. Um, you know, it's very difficult for her to be in the position with this team that's veteran. Um, we're already ten practices ahead of we were last year. She doesn't have anyone to go, well, what is she talking about? Like all of her language, all of her even the like Rebecca Ripley, it's her first year playing because she was hurt last year, but she heard all the language. Beatrice was here all year. Um, we have a, a transfer from uh, West Virginia, Destiny Harden, who's learning it. And I, I'm really happy we have Destiny, but I'm happy we have Destiny for Jameer because she's got someone that they can go after practice, go, what is umbrella? What is kickback? Like, d the language is just really different. Um, but she's special. She's going to remind you a little bit of a Morgan Strum with a little bit more upper body strength and lower body strength. So she's pretty good. Um, so, and then having Rebecca Ripley back is nice because it's very rare to have a, a, a guard with size that can shoot, but then on the defensive end, we'll put a body on someone. I think that's one thing. Uh, the, how physical we play will determine a lot of our success this year. And she brings tremendous physicality, and she better. Um, that's going to be her opportunity for us, um, and that's really important. And then with Beatrice, um, most of you have seen her grow up. Um, she is as special as advertised. Um, you know, she, she has a different level when it's, if it's just a drill, there's one level of competition in her. If the losers run, it's a whole different player. I mean, when it's time to compete, she, she's off the charts competitive in a very quiet way. And if you, didn't, if you weren't in practice every day, you wouldn't see it. Um, but when, it, when, the, when the lights are on and it's time to win, you know, Beatrice, is, she's got the guts. You know, she's, she's, gonna, she's gonna do something pretty special. So, um, but I think that Beatrice is very blessed to be able to play with Laura and Amesa, to come into a new system and have Laura and Amesa. Mesa was frankly our point guard last year. She, she was the point forward. She, she ran the whole system as everyone was trying to learn. Mesa was, had the ball at the middle of the court. We ran everything through Mesa, whether we threw it in and she reversed it, but she was calling plays from, at 6'4". And now we have Laura and Mesa, and Beatrice can just kind of not have to think as much, and, and they're thinking the game and, and really facilitating for her. When you have a player like someone who's from this area and everybody watched her a while, mm -hmm. all of her friends, family, people who come watch her, yeah. do players like that sometimes put too much pressure on themselves? Yeah, I mean, what, she chunked every free throw <laughs> the first half. Of the, she was really nervous. We didn't, yeah. I mean, you know, we're still getting to know her, she, she, but uh, she admitted afterwards she was a little bit nervous, which I didn't even, you know, I said, are you excited? She said, yeah, I didn't ask her if she was nervous, but she was, and that was cute. You know, but Beatrice, and Kelsey Marshall, let me tell you, wow. I mean, she is playing out of her mind right now. She has really evolved, um, very strong. Her, her, you know, defense wasn't a word you said in a sentence with Kelsey last year. Uh, you just wouldn't say Kelsey in defense. You just couldn't do it. She shot well, but, but now she's like one of our best defenders and um, really doing a great job of facilitating and putting the ball where it needs to go. And then she's shooting at a really high percentage. So those two local players are going to be a big, you know, they're going to often lead us in scoring, I think, which is great. I, I like to keep them home. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's great, too. I mean, our, our practices are open. You know, you can come any time, and it's, it's nice. Um, people are like, you know, I just got a text from Kelsey. My old, uh, you know, many school, uh, un, whatever, middle school coaches, da-da-da, can they come to practice? I'm like, sure. But, you know, we always open up our practices, and it's nice because their coaches will come by. Their fam and, you know, when their families are coming from out of town and from out of the country, they come in our practice. So I just, I li I'm fine. I have a real family 
feel to this program, but um, it's awful nice that they get that extra level of support. Yeah. Right. Well, first of all, if I ever, you know, write a book or whatever, and there'll be a chapter <laughs> on the best leadership I ever witnessed in my coaching career, it will be Laura and Kayla last year off the bench injured. I'd never, ever have seen better leadership in my life. I was stunned by it. I was emotional every time I saw them doing it. It's very hard to be that involved and to lead from the bench. You know, uh, captains aren't usually bench players, right? Well, they were never going to play. You know, they weren't going to play, and somehow they were the leaders of that team. Um, that was really unselfish and really uncomfortable at first for them, but eventually it was the rock of why we overachieved last year. Now to have them back on the court is, uh, I'm extra spoiled. I, I, missed, I, I missed their talent last year, but I, I had them, you know, and now I have them and their talent. Considering, obviously, what Kayla's gone through, yeah. a little bit of a hiccup now. Yeah. Like, um, you know, how tough is that for her to have to wait? You know, she's probably chomping at the bit. And yeah. Yeah, I said, uh, well, you know, I said, God, she's already resilient. Like, she's proven it, you know. Why, why we got to show it again? But she is very resilient. And, um, you know, this was, this was scary, but on the flip side of it, you know, afterwards, we feel really good about Kayla. So um, at first we were a little bit nervous and uncertain, but um, now we're feeling really good. It's going to be temporary. Okay. Yeah. We don't. Um, if I gave you a timeline, it would probably be less optimistic than what I feel right now. Yeah, so I, I, I don't want to put a timeline on it because I think we're going to get better than I think, than, than they'd say.